Welcome back to IGN Live, coming to you from Gamescom in Germany. Now we're getting our first look at Dead Island 2. Burns and Daniel are here to show it to us. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for coming by the show. Thanks. Thank you long, for having us. It's been a long time coming. I'm excited to see this. Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. We'll jump right into it, but uh, maybe start telling us what are the big new features for Dead Island 2. Uh, uh, zombies, zombies. Uh, well, uh, now with zombies. Uh, California. Actually, Daniel can do it in seven seconds. You want that? Yeah, I want seven the seven second version. Game okay, in seven yeah. seconds. One, two, three, go. All right, so California, zombie playground. Eight players, seamless multiplayer. Kick ass, zombies, just a lot of fun. Perfect. Works. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming by the show. <laughs> no, yeah, this looks great. Let's take a look here. Uh, where in California are we? Yes, uh, it's, this is set in uh, LA. If you look around, you, you might even see the Hollywood side. And you know what? We had to pay for using that. You have to pay. They, they charge you for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, There's a that. guy who actually owns the Hollywood sign. What? Yeah, yeah. And every time somebody uses it in games, yeah, there it is. Uh, in games, movies, wow. whatever, you have to pay for it, and it's not cheap. Yeah, oh, I Deep don't Silver imagine. wasn't the muse. They asked <laughs> us if we could do something like you know, zombie land hills. Funny, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. But uh, we said no, 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 no. We need Hollywood. Hollywood it needs to be the proper Hollywood sign. So please, please, please pay for it. And what? they did. Why was it so important to set it in the real Los Angeles? It is. Yeah. But why is that? Why was it important to you? Um, I think one of the aspects is that that island games always should be in a place where you want to go, where you want to be, where it's beautiful and, and, and fantastic. And so we started thinking about what is the most beautiful, iconic location on this planet. And then we said, California, because for a lot of people, especially in Europe, you know, going to California, that's a dream. Really? You know, it's this, this land where everybody's beautiful, everybody's rich, everybody's a superstar. <laughs> Not quite, yeah. but that's what we, we wanted to bring into uh, that island. So we said, hey, it has to be California. And also we wanted something that is a lot, offers a lot more space. So we have uh, California, no, not California, we have Los Angeles. San Francisco and the top three third area that we're not talking about yet. How, how do you travel between the different areas? With a car yeah. and you, we have a fast travel option. Gotcha, gotcha. So it looks like the uh, modified weapons are coming back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So uh, basically what we're showing off in the demo here is we have the shock mod that was also in the original game. Um, and that's what you're seeing here right now. We also have the fire mod. You can use to set things on fire. You can actually set the grass on fire this time around as well. Um, and what's really cool about Dead Island 2 that wasn't really there in the first game was you can actually dual wield weapons. Mm. And doing so, you can actually have two different weapon effects at the same time. So you can have like a shotgun in your left hand, three zombies with it, and then follow up with a mace that's on fire. So you oh like no. shatter them into burning frost pieces. Oh my god, oh my god, oh yeah. zombies. You know what, actually, did you see the face of the zombie? What we did is, uh, because we're Jaeger and we like to do things right, we scanned the whole team. So uh, the faces so all of the there? zombies are actually people from Jaeger. So the guy who just broke through the door was actually Calvin, one of our character artists. Nice. And uh, I've seen Robert a lot, the concept artist. And uh, <laughs> so in the final game, you will be able to hunt down the whole of Jaeger. Finally. How about that? <laughs> Is there an explanation for the zombie outbreak in California? What happened? Um, it's all in your mind. It's all in your oh, no, mind. No, that's the off's answer. No, that's not true. Uh, no, there's, there's no explanation. What we want is basically that the zombies are not a surprise. They're kind of an established fact okay. of the world that we live in. Yeah. Because uh, that also ties into the, 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 the seamless multiplayer we have, which basically means that I keep telling people internally what we're doing is we're actually building the world's smallest MMO because our world doesn't end. There's no end game. There's no set beginning because the, by the nature of Seamless, you can join and leave at any time. So our game actually doesn't have an end. And uh, to channel, that also applies to the story because narrative requires us to do something super innovative at the same time. Because how do you tell a story when people can leave and join at any time? And uh, so my answer is to channel Molineux for a second is we don't have one story, we have thousands. So can uh, See what I did <laughs> yeah. there? It's pretty good. Was pretty it good? good? Yeah. Nice okay. <laughs> but you can't, so you, you can't beat the game? Uh, no. No. It never ends. But you'll keep getting missions. You keep getting missions. Okay. Stuff is going on. There are events in the world that happen over and over and over again. Like, for example, here, there's a bar. Uh, and the people living there, the other survivors, they ask you to defend it against the zombie hordes. And then after you do that, they say, OK, thanks, guys. 
but now we would like to watch, let's say, a football game. But our generator ran out of gasoline, so could you please go over to the next gas station and get some gas for us so we can watch football? And then they watch football, and that makes lots of noise, which again attracts lots more zombies. So they say, ah, can you repair our defenses? And on and on and on. So we have these events which basically stack onto each other and give you the illusion of basically a never... Ah, that was Robert. That was Robert. <laughs> uh, of a never-ending world for you to play with. I see. I'm talking the whole time. Ask Daniel something. <laughs> sorry. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. I want to hear about the weapons that we're seeing. About the weapons that we're seeing. So right here you can see a shotgun. Robert. Um, uh -huh. Basically, we have different kinds of scopes on the shotguns as well. What's new in this game is you can actually modify them with effect modes that you couldn't in the first one. Um, but uh, one of the coolest ones we have in the demo is called the Home Strike. And that's okay. basically a, a special weapon that's a baseball bat with a bowling ball on the end. You can actually use that to like launch zombies up into the air and just watch them fly away, leaving a trail of blood. Nice. Uh, that's really fun. Uh, is, that, is that your favorite weapon in the game? I would say it's the favorite one of the demo, for sure. Yeah. I have some weapons that I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about. but oh, you, uh, you can say one. Choose one. All right, I'm going to choose the Fiesta Launcher. So the Fiesta Launcher <laughs> is a weapon which is basically a, kind of like a potato gun but it can shoot random items. So every time you shoot, you don't really know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's just like confetti, but sometimes you get like a, a trap or a bomb. Uh, and or it's a lot of fun bear. to see what happens. A teddy bear? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty useful against zombies, I think. Yeah, well, it's a never-ending surprise. Yeah. Uh, Dead Island 2. Ooh, very loud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was for you guys. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, next spring, 2015, what are we looking yes. at for a release next spring? No, no specific date yet, though? Uh, we, we don't know yet. Yeah. Quite frankly, we don't know it. It's going to be somewhere around that date. But, but uh, uh, it's looking good. I mean, like internally, um, shut up over there. And uh, that's this game I've never heard of. League, League of, of Legends. It's something. New, it's a new uh, indie Never heard game. of it. Yeah, but people so. here like it must yeah. be a German thing. Yeah, yeah uh, I guess so. So yeah, no, we don't know yet. But it's going to be soon. Eight players. Yes. Just can they all? You have to like form a group, you can drop in and out. How does, the, how does the multiplayer work? Well, I mean, it's all seamless. So basically, in the first game when you were playing, you would kind of have to choose, you know, by default, you were playing by yourself, and the game would ask you, like, oh, hey, someone is nearby. Do you want them to join you? But uh, in our game, by default, players are just dropping into your game, kind of like when you're playing Journey. Um, so basically, you're just running around in the world, and you're sharing this huge level with eight other players. I see. That's how everybody looks when we say Journey. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> Do you, I think if I remember right, in the first game, there were several characters to pick from. Is that right? Yeah. How does it work in this one? Uh, we have four. Just four characters, okay. Four, right, yeah. Yeah, four. Okay. Maybe all more. new classes. Yeah, four new classes, all new, all very much fitting into the franchise. We made, we, we, we are, because we're Jaeger, um, we made sure that, that they fit with the tone of the game, because that was for us, uh, uh, um, l when we started pitching for, for Dead Island 2, you know, when Deep Silver asked us, so what, what, what would you do? We said, you know what, we need to embrace the proper tone. And since uh, in Dead Island what people like doing is have these awesome mayhem moments. I was there, hit the zombie with the home strike, he goes flying, and then you came in in a car and everything exploded. And this is the stuff that people talked about. Mm. They didn't talk about story, characters, or the sad NPC they met. That's that's the, the, the thing that people wanted to do. And so we decided everything we do needs to support that. Yeah. Well, the game looks like a lot of fun. Definitely look forward to spring 2015 to play more Thank on Dead Island 2. So cool. thanks a lot for coming by the show. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, stay tuned. So much more to come from IGN Live from Gamescom after these messages.